Hey everybody, good morning. So uh, my name is Tal Safran. I'm a developer at GitHub and I wanna start your day with a little story. So we've all been here before. We start a new Rails project, uh, create a migration. Uh, I found this when I joined GitHub about six months ago. Uh, you know, I was new, poking around, kicking the tires, and I have to say that when I saw this first uh, migration, I was really moved. Create some users, create some repositories. It really described everything that GitHub was about to become. Millions of developers collaborating to write software for their work, their personal projects, and of course open source. Users and repositories, people in code. When GitHub started 10 years ago, Rails was about three years old. It was a version 1.2, and this is what the website looked like. The site had a little gallery of who was already using Rails. Uh, you see the obvious names here at the top, Basecamp and Campfire, but you also have Shopify and good old Odeo, which was the podcasting company that came before Twitter. In mid-2008, there was a big announcement on the Rails blog. Uh, Rails was switching off of Subversion onto this fairly new, shiny version control system called Git, which had actually come out a year after Rails. But more importantly, uh, the Rails project was moving onto a new platform called GitHub. Rails moving to GitHub uh, was time to coincide with GitHub's official public launch. Here's the GitHub announcement from two days after the Rails announcement. And this is GitHub a couple months after it launched. Rails was the top repository at the time and the entire community was mostly comprised of Ruby developers. So from the very beginning, uh, GitHub and Rails had this sort of symbiotic relationship. On the one hand, GitHub was built using Rails and on the other, Rails was being built out in the open on GitHub. I had to show this as part of my slide. This was the sign up call to action. So fast forward to today, uh, we started on version 1.2 uh, and we've gone through every major Rails upgrade there is. So we've kind of seen everything from uh, Scriptaculous to uh, the introduction of asset pipeline, uh, strong parameters, you name it. Uh, currently we're upgrading to Rails 5. Uh, huge shout out to Eileen who's about to go on who's helped us with a recent upgrade to 4X. It's tough work. <laughs> Uh, internally, we have a lot of Ruby and Rails apps. Uh, from GitHub itself to uh, you know, public apps like uh, Jobs, GitHub Jobs and Gist, uh, but also dozens of internal apps that we use for everything from span detection to exception monitoring, team posts, video, office gear, you name it, there's a lot of Rails code over there. So I think in my first six months, I must have touched at least 10 different Rails projects at the company. We love Rails and we love Ruby. Lots of uh, GitHubers have also contributed to Rails. In fact, 59 uh, different folks, past and present, have worked on Rails and uh, several of Incore members as well. Uh, GitHub's been at RailsConf for, uh, si since its first year, since our first year, so I guess GitHub's been here for 10 years. Um, RailsConf 2008 featured several talks by Hubbers, including a panel featuring all three GitHub developers uh, which were of course the founders, they all had day jobs still. Uh, this week we have three uh, folks speaking. Uh, yesterday we had Tarian, uh, who gave a workshop on abuse vectors. Uh, we have Eileen, who's coming on next, and tomorrow night we have Tenderlove, who's doing the closing keynote. So go check out their talks. Uh, we recently celebrated our 10th birthday. Uh, we put together a small website, uh, so, and Rails was a big part of it, so go check it out. Uh, it's at github.com slash 10. Rails project continues to be one of the most popular projects on GitHub. Uh, over its history, uh, we've had over 3,500 people contribute uh, with a mind-bending number of issues and pull requests that have been closed. Uh, so I wanna take this chance to personally thank all the people involved in Rails uh, that have contributed over the years. Whether you've submitted an issue or written code, uh, you've helped make Rails and GitHub uh, better in so many ways, not just as software, but as a community. <laughs> Users and repositories, people and code. In a lot of ways, this is the easiest way to describe what GitHub is to people. It's where people and code intersect. So it's been an awesome 10 years, here's to 10 more. 
and uh, last thing, we have a booth. Uh, as Shirley mentioned, uh, uh, we have uh, you know a coffee bar, we have tons of cute OctaCat stickers, and I think over a dozen GitHubers are here, so come say hey. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.